welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And it is that time of the year again for another Liam Neeson action film. This time we are taking a look at the official trailer for Cold Pursuit. So aside from Liam... Yes? Did we say, oh, I'm giving it up? I don't know, man. Apparently Robert Redford... Apparently I found out Robert Redford, Redford has consistently said he's retiring from acting, so... Uh, Old Man and the Gun may not be his final film. So, okay, back to this. Uh, th aside from Liam Neeson, this also stars Emily Rossum. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably know from Shameless. Yeah, I know. Uh, Laura Dern and William Forsythe. Mm -hmm. So, what is he fighting this time? Well, drug dealers. Um, he plays a snowplow driver who seeks revenge. I, I'm not even done here. Are you doing ahead. it? A snowplow driver who seeks revenge. Because he, uh, against these drug dealers who he believed killed his son. And this is actually a Norwegian, uh, this is a remake of a Norwegian film of the same name from four years ago. This sounds like a future potential uh, film for um, the guys from uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000 to watch. That's what it sounds it like. It seems like in the year like 20. 38, they'll be reacting to this going, yeah, exactly. You know, they'll be gonna making be, Liam Neeson crude jokes. They're gonna be making that's why I said it's a future possibility. Slight disclaimer we like me, Liam Neeson. We really do like Liam Neeson. For, for a guy his age, still kicking ass, like literally kicking ass like he is, it's pretty cool. However, when Taken 2 isn't good, when Taken 3 sucks ass, like when it starts to take a step down from when you, and then when all the other films get automatically tied to taken gotta take a break you know Especially like i did i heard that train one was actually decent i heard yeah. the train one was actually decent the one where he forgets commuter who he, yeah com, i think commuter or yeah, something like commuter that. yeah that's one viewer for me as well i heard that was decent i heard the one where he gets amnesia it's fine guy guess so yeah the guy I'm I don't sorry. know. I I'm guess looking back at Taken Three, that one scene where how many shots it took just to, for him to jump over a goddamn fence. Let's let's get. I'm to I'm sorry. This. I'm sorry. I had to say it. You look back at it, and you're like, oh my god. But don't worry, he's a snowplow driver this time, so probably less edits. Oh my god. Let's just get this going for the official trailer for Cold Pursuit. So here we go. Taken Four, Cold Pursuit. I swear to God, that's is so tough for a Taken film. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. What makes you think you can kill a man? I've read it in a crime novel. I've read it in a crime novel. What the fuck? I'm very honored to be named Keyhole Citizen of the Year. I'm just a guy who keeps a strip of civilization open. When you drive the same road day after day, it's easy to think about the road not taken. I was lucky. I picked a good road early, and I stayed on it. Mr. Kaufman? What can I do for it? It's about your son. He died of a heroin overdose. We didn't know our own son. Kyle wasn't a druggie. Sorry, my old parents say that. You're gonna have to say a few words. Kyle's dead. Tell me what happened. He got mixed up with some drug dealer. Mike, he likes hurting people. What is it with all these with the McDonald's you know, company? Eskimo. It's a gangster thing. Did you have a nickname? Wingman. Wingman. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill guys. One guy can disappear. Two? Who wants me dead? Three of Vikings drug dealers have disappeared. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You can kill a man. I'm glad I'm not crying now. I read it in a crime now. I go. This doesn't happen to Keo. It just did. He 
He's still not dead. <laughs> He's still not dead. Nels Coxman, citizen of the year. Oh! This feels like Liam Neeson's Fargo in a way. In a tiny way. Okay, let me also put a second disclaimer. Regardless of what we say about the bad Liam Neeson fi action films, the ones where he's actually trying are look good. And this one does look good. I really just looks like he's actually just, doing a good one. The, okay, there's a couple of shots that are confusing. Why is he holding the McDonald's cup holder when he shoots somebody? And was that guy parachuting in? <laughs> what the fuck? Like he was parachuting at a truck or something. Well, okay. This looks fine. I think it looks like an action film I may, uh, Liam Neeson action film I may enjoy. For the most part, he's not a badass. Like, his version of a sawed-off is a sawed-off sniper rifle. Don't, don't get me wrong there. That's not, no, no problem there. And then, look how long it takes him to kill one guy. Especially it's, by the end of it. Like, it's like, <laughs> like, what do you just call you? Wingman. And I'm like, that's what I'm trying to hear, because you're like, he was like, Eskimo, scheming. Or something like that. The line he was saying, pretty much, and he's like, "What's with these Eskimos?" Oh, no. And I, these, these yeah. nicknames. He's like, "It's a mafia. It's a mob thing." Pretty much. He's like, "What was yours?" That's when he was like, yeah. "What was yours?" Wingman. And that's when he's like, "Wingman." It, I get tiny Fargo vibes with the whole small town. This doesn't usually happen. The small town, you know, especially by the, 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 the by the end of it, when they're like, "Hey, look, there he is." You know, he's the, the, the man of the year. The, the, was the citizen of the year. The citizen of the year. Giant tree through, through car. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching this. Either in theaters or on streaming. I like Liam Neeson. I really like Liam Neeson. It's just, I really wish sometimes... How many it, times have you said Liam Neeson's name like in this damn video? I've lost you, count. I'll leave it up to you if you want to put a Liam Neeson counter. Because that counts right there, too. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm having fun with Rosem too, branching out a bit. Um, yeah. She's she's she officially left Shameless after this season, so it's pretty cool to see where she goes from here. She's been in films before. And she, remember, she was in Day After Tomorrow. Yes. She was the you know who from that one, the one film we never shall be named. The one you forced me to watch and. Yes. I saw PTSD. No, anyways, um, no, this film looks fine. It looks like a very. Interesting version of a Liam Neeson action flick. I will give it that much. Mm. Because a snowplower. I just... Yeah. Do you know what you're okay. doing? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I think. I've read it in a crime novel. I wouldn't mind. If you guys seen the original 2014 Norwegian film, let us know how it is and how it compares to this. Mm. I mean, comments below and all that. But, like... Yeah, this looks fun. I mean, I get, I would understand if you want to see some theaters, but I would also understand why you want to see it as a streaming service. And yeah. a streaming service. So, yeah. other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Liam Neeson, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon as well. Sorry. I keep thinking of Key and Peele. Liam Neeson's. Um, was he in one of their sketches? No, he wasn't in one of them. They just brought, brought him up pretty much. Okay. And that's why I said I love watching because when they're like, Liam Neeson's. Always had the S at the end. Yeah. Um, but anyways, put down what you guys thought of this uh, trailer overall. Again, if, you watched the, if you've seen the original, um, how does it look compared to this one here? Is it about the same? Or look like they're a little bit more... More or less, pretty much from what the what the the other film had. Hmm. Uh, let us know in the comments below as well of, of what you thought of our reaction. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris and I'm Christopher, and this is been yet the thousandth time I've said this. Not really, but this has been a very Liam Neeson filled episode of SRB. See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.